Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. And Dave, let's do a quick preview of the pay-per-view since uh, we both just did a preview and we <laughs> largely agreed on everything. But uh, very quickly, we've got uh, Zero Hour, Willow Nightingale and Ashi versus Chris Stadlin or Stokely Hathaway. We actually disagreed on this one. To a degree. To a degree. Yeah, uh, well, I just don't think that... Uh, um, I know, think we both agree that Stokely Hath Hathaway should not pin a she. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, they shouldn't do that. Um, but, I mean, you know, Chris probably should beat Willow. You yeah. Know? You know, I mean, that would make the most sense leading up to it. Then she picks the steps. Yep, the winner picks the stipulation for the nightingale stat Lanner match for the CMLL women's title. Mm -hmm. It's a title match at All Out. Right. So, yeah, I would I would presume that stat Lanner and Stokely win. Probably stat Lanner pinning Willow Nightingale would be my guess. But that's the only zero-hour match that we have thus far, as of the time we're recording this. And they'll probably have to add two or three more. Right. I'm going to guess that they're going to add them on Saturday at Collision. Although, you know, Collision was filmed already, and they didn't overtly, you know, mention any new matches, at least as far as I saw. So, um, you know, whatever it is, is, is I guess it's going to be done backstage or something. Yeah. We got FTW champion Chris Jericho defending against Hook. And I think we can both agree Hook probably win in this match, win in the title. Yeah, that, that's the thing that makes the most sense. Yeah. We've got the Casino Gauntlet match, and it appears that Ricochet has signed with AEW. And my pick for the Casino Gauntlet match winner is Ricochet. Yeah. Well, I think I mean, you should debut him, give him a big push. He could, he could, winner gets a title shot. Yeah. The only thing is, is I don't know that, um, well, it depends on, there's, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but... Uh, I mean, the one thing with the winner gets a title shot is if Danielson wins, uh, it does give you a, a Danielson Ricochet match. And the reality is, is that you know I don't, I haven't looked up if they've ever done that match, but I know it hasn't been done in years and years and years, and it's never been done, um, you know, in, in a big time stage that I can recall. I mean, um, I don't, I mean, they may have done it in WWE, but I mean, it, it just doesn't, um, you know, it's never been done at the level that it, it could be done. And if you like got like one of Danielson's last dream opponents, I could see Ricochet being one of those guys. So, you know, that, um, yeah, you know, I could see that. I could see that it's viable. I mean, there's, there's plenty of viable options, but that's the, the one thing with the Ricochet is, is that if he doesn't, then they can't do that match because Danielson will be, you know, Danielson's going to be gone full time for, you know, relatively soon, you know, before the end of the year for sure. We have the TBS Championship match. And by the way, we don't know really anybody in the Casino Gauntlet other than Hangman, Evil Uno. I don't even know the, the Evil conglomeration. Uno. I don't know that Evil Uno's even in it. I, well, I, he did get beaten up, but I, I mean, I, before he was beaten up, he did tell Hangman that he was in the match. Right, but I thought that Hangman pounding him with the chair was the way to get him out of the match. I thought Hangman pounding him on the chair was showing that Hangman will beat up even his good friend yeah. for a chance to get it swerve. Yeah. Which also, by the way, plays into my main event scenario. Which I know you don't like, but... No, I don't like it. It's not whether we like it or not. It's about, is it going to happen? Well, that's true. And my my thought is that because the only thing that Swerve wants is to take the title from Swerve... Dude, they're, they're the only thing that Hangman If has. Hangman... Yeah, if Hangman doesn't win the gauntlet, then the only other way to take the title off of him is to screw him out of the title in the main event. Yeah. And Brian Danielson wins. Yeah, I just don't and want... And then you do Swerve I, I, and, I, yeah. and Hangman it all out. Yeah, I just don't think that this is a show to do the uh, to do a screw job finish for Danielson's big win. I just think that it taints it too much. I mean, but we do agree Danielson's win in the main event. I mean, that's the logical thing. I mean, it's. I mean, put it this way: when I was originally told the scenario, and this is months and months and months and months ago, it was Danielson winning then. So, you know, um, so I can't imagine. I mean, you you can change. It's also it. going on last. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can. There's, you can always do there's always ways to do it but i mean i would i would certainly have danielson win i mean it's like you want you want that you want that big moment at, at wembley at the end that's memorable and um swerve retaining it could be memorable in a weird way but it's not as memorable as the the obvious i mean look the, I, I think that obvious booking is usually the best booking sometimes you don't want it to be obvious but generally speaking and i think this is obvious booking he's gonna he's not gonna lose his title i mean he's not i mean he's, he's gonna lose the title he's not gonna lose his career we got mercedes monet versus Britt baker for the tbs title and i think mercedes retains the title here 
What exactly you do, I don't know, but I don't think that Brit's coming in and taking the title from Mercedes already. No, surely. Um, I do think that uh, it's if, if they're you know, there's there's you know if you're going to introduce Jamie Hader, and I don't know that she's going to be there, but if she were to be there, I think this is the match to introduce her in because you want something with a lot of impact. We got the Young Bucks versus the acclaimed and FTR for the AW Tag Team Titles. And my pick is Young Bucks. I think that uh, they have done nothing with the titles at this point, which I guess could be an argument to take the belts off them, but it's not like they're booking their vacations or whatever. So I think the acclaimed are on their way to a heel turn. I think that you can beat them, and then that's their impetus for turning heel. You could have FTR win. FTR could win, yeah. But I'll, I'll pick the Young Bucks. Yeah. Um they, the, the thing that I think that they need is they need to really um, focus on some of these other tag teams. It's tough because they have a lot of them, and they're all kind of at that same level. You know, whether it's, you know, uh, Private Party, Dante, and, and Darius Martin, um, you know, just a whole, there's a whole crew of them that you could do, that could use an elevation, but they're kind of not, um, they, you know, they haven't been in four years. I mean, been, and, 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 and I don't blame, I, I mean, there's ways to do it, but also, um, I mean, nobody's kicked in the door either. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, and, and sometimes somebody, you know, just needs to kick in the door and just go like, look, you know, watch us. Then we've got the London Ladders match, which if you don't want a spoiler for Collision, hit that fast forward button for about two minutes. It's the Patriarchy, which is Christian Cage, Kill Switch, and Nick Wayne against the Bang Bang Gang, the House of Black, and at this point, officially TBA, but since they've already taped Collision, it is Pac, Wheeler Yuta, and Claudio mm -hmm. as a third team. And I suppose you could give Pac a big Wembley moment, but I mean, we're going to have lots of Wembley moments here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't it's do It's a makeshift six-man and they just did the patriarchy angle where Nick Wayne became the youngest champion and Christian gave the belt to Shayna instead of Kill Switch. So I feel like patriarchy retains because there's a lot more you could do with that storyline. Mm -hmm. But it could honestly be anybody, to be honest. I could, I, could see House, I could see House of Black, um, you know, just as, as the fact that I think that they're, they're kind of underutilized. Um, and I think the people here are going to get way behind Brody King, too. I mean, you know, there's going to be some cult stuff because, like, like again, yeah, Hook and Big Bill. Yeah, Hook and Big Bill. Jeff Jarrett was super, super over on Collision, which was, but he's a baby face. But um, you know, the, the people just took to him. You know, there's always that thing, and there'll be something on this show. I don't know what it'll be, where it'll start as a like a low thing, and then as the match goes on, it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and who, you know, who will it be? I mean, it might be Big Bill in the freaking. Uh, you know, gauntlet match for all we know. I mean... Um, yeah, the funny thing is the Dynamite Collision were taped on the same day. Yeah. And on the Dynamite show, Hook they, was over as a baby face. They went crazy for the guy. They booed Big Bill. And then literally an hour later, maybe two hours later, two hours later. they come out and the fans just totally turned on Hook. They absolutely loved Big Bill. I, I had people the show that messaged me and they just said, I've been going to shows for a long time. I never heard anything like the reaction Big Bill got. That's the unusual. fans just decided to go crazy for Big Bill. But it's it's one of those things that builds. If it starts and then it just seems to be the cool thing. You know, I mean, they did the same thing for Fandango at WrestleMania and it was the British crowd that did it and then they continued the whole European tour. You know, so I mean, it's like that happens and I expect something like that to happen, but I just don't know to who. There'll be probably some heel, you know, on the on this show and maybe Big Bill. But it may, you know, Big Bill. Big Bill will probably get a giant reaction just because of that TV and the word getting around and everything like that. But it could be somebody else too, where they just decide, you know, that we're going to like this guy, and uh, we're going to go against the flow, and and that's fine too. Fans have the right to do whatever they want, and it makes them happy. Um, but I think they're going to do it in one match. Then we've got Jack Perry, Darby Allen in a coffin match, and I am predicting that Jack Perry beats Darby. And then lights the coffin on fire. And Darby is taken out of action until Tacoma, where he can get his world title shot against Brian Danielson. Two hometown guys fighting for the title at, uh, what's the name of that show? Wrestle Dream, Wrestle maybe? Dream, yeah. yeah. So I think that's, that's my, one way or the other, I think that Darby is losing this match. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to take him out of action. Because you could do the title match at uh, 
They got um, to do something big for Arthur um, Ashe. You got to do something big for Arthur Ashe. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like you can find somebody for Brian Danielson for that show. Maybe, maybe. they're only setting it up for four thousand, and yeah. they've already sold four thousand. No, they're setting it up for how many and many people come. Well, they, sure, yeah. I mean, it's like this is they do this. That's that's that number means nothing. What what the number is is they when they do a show, they do they'll they'll do basically they'll they'll do. Each section is their bought. That's the number. So right now we're at four thousand because they got probably thirty eight hundred bought. You know when those tickets get sold, then they'll open up more sections. But they they open up the sections strategically. So whenever you see this max number, unless the number is the real sellout, that number means nothing. It's not like oh we're setting up for four thousand. No, we're setting up. We're not selling anywhere in the arena except right in front of the camera until we sell enough elsewhere you know that's just how they do it and wwe would do it the same way and did do it the same way for years and years and years you know now you know now it's they don't have to do it that way but but wwe still wwe still i would say on um all the house shows and even at the tvs they're not opening up max like like they'll open up whatever sold on the first day and 300 more you know that's just how it's done we got MJF versus Will Ospreay. I think we can all agree Will Ospreay is winning that match. Yeah, well, he better win with a uh, Tiger Driver because it's the only yes, the only way it should happen, and it, this should be this this to me feels like the best built match on the show. Um, you know, as far as overall, they give they devote a lot of time. I mean, they devote a lot of time to the Tony Storm thing too. That's the other one, but they devote a lot of time to this. God damn, did they devote a lot of time on on Wednesday to this? Tony Storm and Mariah May. Sure. Uh, actually, this one you could go either way, but I think Mariah May is winning. They built I, this I, up for I, a long time. I think Mariah May needs to win because I think if Tony Storm wins, then then um, you have kind of um, you know you you it you 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 would just kind of like cut it off. If Mariah May wins, you can keep it going better. Yeah. So I think Mariah May should win. Yeah. And then Swerve Strickland, Brian Danielson in the main event for the AW title, and Brian Danielson. We talked about it. Probably yeah. winning that match, getting the big victory at the end of the show, winning the title the first time ever. This would be his 20th championship match. He has lost the last 19 straight. Yeah, and, and going back to WWE because he's never won a title in AEW and he yep. lost a bunch in WWE. I mean, when he came back, he never did. He never won a title in WWE when he came back, did he? No, he did because he had the hemp belt. <sighs> That's right, he did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that, was that before or after the concussion? That was after? I think that was after, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. That was after. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.